Police department is making major changes when it comes to transporting prisoners. It was all prompted following that disturbing incident last month where a man was paralyzed in police custody. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarlane is live from police headquarters to break it all down. Matt. Well, Aaron, the special order reinforces some of the standard operating procedures here at the department and also adds to it as well. And the chief says very clearly it spells out exactly the steps that officers are supposed to take and also how they're supposed to treat folks who are in their custody. We promise quick and decisive action and accountability. New Haven's mayor and the city's new police chief on just his second day in his new role, outlining a series of new initiatives and reforms designed to enhance prisoner transport safety while also addressing those in police custody seeking medical attention. What this order is saying is if they say it, you will do it. Not that, hey, you know, it's open to interpretation. If this is mentioned, you're required to ask these questions on body cam. Last month, Randy Cox was paralyzed while in police custody. The disturbing video shows his head slam into the back of a police transport van. While he says he thinks his neck is broken, at the lockup, officers pull him out, process him, and drag the 37-year-old into a cell. The mayor and I saw Mr. Cox yesterday, and um, it was a very tough thing to see. Um, but I think it's important for us to see it because it's our job to fix it and make sure it never happens again. Effective immediately, marked cruisers will be the standard when it comes to transporting prisoners. The only exception, when bringing a large group to court. If the suspect sides prevents them from fitting in the back of a cruiser, or if it's a special event with multiple arrests, seat belts will also be a must. The transport vans aren't going to be out around the city picking up um, suspects like they were in the past. Also, when a suspect is in custody, officers will have a series of questions to ask before transport and once at lockup, described as medical Miranda rights. And if they say they are injured, officers are now obligated to seek help immediately. Some of this is is reiterating very, very explicitly what was existing policy. But the, the additional thing that's very comport, important here is the officers are now required to ask both at the time of the arrest and at a, upon arrival at the detention facility if people need medical assistance. Now the city will host a series of public safety forums with the mayor and the chief. The first one a week from tonight at Hill Regional Career High School. Also going forward, while the city is changing some of its policies and procedures, they say that's based on a proposed bill at the state level. And we're going to have part of that story coming up tonight at 6. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.